Stuff is Charles Gang. And just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles Jang. Devin Haney tells Floyd Mayweather, you've been hating a long time. You've been hating a long time. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, um, I guess I'm going to go a little deeper into this shit um, and touch the root problem. Um, Floyd Mayweather, you caused quite a stir. Um, you know... Um, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it would have been bigger than this, though. It, it, I guess it's viral. Yeah, it's pretty viral, but I thought the shit, I, I thought that shit would be at about 20 million views right now. That's just me. That's what I thought. But I guess it's viral enough that most fans know about it. You know, I just sat and pondered. Um, you know, the only thing black folks can ever agree on is that black folks ain't shit. I think that's the only thing that all black people can ever agree on is that black folks ain't shit and in a way is the shit and Usa, no, I was just, but, but anyway um I don't know I don't know it's it's just very embarrassing like I said I am not proud as a I, I'm just not because um the lack of it just we we it just lacking major shit, bro. Lacking major shit. Um, I've made a lot of videos. I've exposed a lot of black men, especially OGs and shit like that. I, I've done that. I've done that, but I've never dedicated. I've never dedicated my channel to expose not one black. No, never. I done made Diddy videos. I've made certain shit, but. That's not my dedication. I do expose gatekeepers that, you know, play their part and just, you know, um, keep keep black people from entering that gate. I, I expose that all the time. But it ain't never been a black man that ever existed that's important enough for me to dedicate my life to exposing. There has never been no black man, not even, uh, what's that motherfucker, Ben Carson? You know the motherfucker that said he thanked white folks for slavery. <laughs> no. Now I remember Ben Carson. He thanked white folks for slavery. He said we'd have been lost uh, had they not come to Africa and got us. They they saved us because we was being mistreated in Africa, and we was eating on each other like like the white folks was doing in the Caucasus Mountains. Now we was doing like them or whatever, and white folks saved us and they civilized us and shit and taught us the English language and gave us Jesus. I don't know, but now even him, I couldn't. I couldn't dedicate my life to exposing him, bro. This, this this is what I'm trying to explain to you. It is black channels out here that is dedicated. Dedicated to trying to expose Devin Haney and Bill Haney. Listen, there's some Tank fans out there that ain't no hater. You just like Tank and you just think Tank gonna win. It's some of y'all that's irritated by Bill, but you really like Devin, but you just irritated by Bill, and just Bill just lie too much. Bill just do too much capping. I get it. I get it. Some of you motherfuckers ain't. Listen, everybody that don't like Devin and Bill, I don't consider you a cool. Oh, you a cool just because you don't, you don't like another black man. You don't like another black man and the white man and the black man. I'm not on that, bro. You you have your right not to like Devin or for, for whatever reason, bro. For whatever reason, bro. But it ain't that goddamn serious. It ain't that serious. Some of you motherfuckers need to fix your relationship problems, bro. You put more time into trying to expose Bill Haney, bro, than attending to your kids, bro, and understanding what they going on, what's going on in their school. Uh, you need to know about all the lies that's being told to them every day in school. Because one thing about it, from kindergarten through 12, bro, they'll never learn how to make no money going to school. That's one thing about school. It don't, it don't teach you how to survive. And it don't teach you that you're a black man in white America. So anyway, that's a whole nother story. But we'll focus on this. Listen. 
um used to be uh used to be damn near uh honorable to lie for your kids it used to damn near be honorable for a father to have so much love for his child that he'll lie from him he'll, he'll sacrifice uh, his freedom sacrifice whatever it takes to protect that child no 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 it used to be honorable to lie you know for your kids it, it, it used to be used to be so if we so offended that bill's just lying and we just think everything he says is lying and he just do a lot of capping um is it important enough? It, it, is, is Bill's lies, is it so major that we neglect all the lies T.O. Fimo Sr. say? We don't like him. Most fans don't like him. Most fans don't like uh, Fatback Fury. Most most fans don't like John Fury or Peter Fury. It's a lot of motherfuckers. We ain't like Angel Garcia. It's a lot of motherfuckers. I ain't never seen a black man dedicate his channel to exposing John Fury or Peter Fury now. Peter lie all the time. If you ask Peter and John, they'll say Tyson would have whooped the shit out of Ali. You motherfuckers will never make a video about it. I just I just notice that we only look towards ourselves. We don't look nowhere outside that barrel. We never look outside that barrel. That's why it just just never look outside. We just stuck in darkness. Stuck in darkness, bro. Um Is it really that serious? Is it that big? Are, are his lies that big that 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 um you dedicated to exposing Devin Haney? Is 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 it the hate for Bill that you motherfuckers are so exciting about a ten year old sparring clip that was chopped and screwed? Is it the hate for Bill that you motherfuckers are that excited about this shit? I, I just don't get it. I, I want to know these things. Is it the hate for Bill that you just want to see Devin lose in every fight because you hate Bill so much? <laughs> let me tell you something, bro. It's way more people. There's way. Let me tell you something. Even if you think Bill is a pimp and used to be a pimp or still is a pimp, it's way worse than shit. What's that motherfucker, Derek Chauvin? That motherfucker that shot Trayvon. Martin? That motherfucker living real good right now. And um, that motherfucker made so much through Go GoFundMe. I think the police force uh, funded him. He's a millionaire. That's for sure. And he walked the streets after killing that kid. No, no, no. He knew when Trayvon Moore had that hoodie on, he wasn't trying to harm nobody. But he still killed that man and got off. I ain't never seen a black man dedicate his channel just to that. Just to that killing. Not all the killings because it's been way more. I ain't never seen a black man dedicate his life to um, Derek Chauvin. It, it just it just so many situations I've seen. It's way worse shit that I just don't see a black man dedicating his life to and doing research and trying to figure that shit out. Cause you're a coward. Uh, this batch of black people are terrified of freedom and liberation. They terrified of suffering for a cause. You motherfuckers are afraid to suffer. You motherfuckers are afraid to suffer. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, when that white boy did that pandemic and you motherfuckers couldn't go nowhere, but you motherfucker. Anyway, um, just don't, bro. Just don't. <laughs> uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, it just ain't no pride, bro. It's just no pride. It, it, I'm, I'm, I have pride in myself. I don't have pride as a black man in this country. I just don't. It's too many monkeys. It's too much chaos. It's nothing to be proud of. It's nothing we own. It ain't nowhere I can go in America where a black man is respected. It ain't no city, no town in America where a black man is respected. So I don't have no pride in being a fucking black man. So that's just how I feel. Um, that's how I feel. Um, I explained in my last video what I thought about the spawn or whatever and this and that. I explained all that, and I was pretty hot in that video. I'm trying to be a little calmer because I'm just trying to explain some things. Um, shout out to my brother supporter of boxing. Shout out to my brother No Name. Shout out to you pimping. Like I say, my brother No Name. He's a tank fan, but he's a realist. One of the sharpest dudes when it comes to this boxing shit. Shout out to you. Uh, I have no problem disagreeing with a brother. I have no problem. With, with, like I said, 
because my brother he brought it he said now bill was lying bill said adrian brown and never and you know what i'm saying bill did a lot of lying listen if y'all thought bill was lying i get it bro i get it i get it i get it but you must admit bro that this outrage and this so-called exposing you never see black people do it to nobody that ain't black you just never do it. You just never that that Weinstein shit in that island with all them kids, bro. We don't nobody dedicates their life to exposing nobody. It's only a black man, bro, that we expose and we get excited for. We get so excited, we'll help a non-black motherfucker destroy a black man. No, 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 no. We have so much hate for ourselves, we'll go get a non-black motherfucker to go kill another black man to destroy him. That's how much hate we have, bro. Imagine if Julio Cesar Chavez, and shout out to supporter about it. But yeah, if who that's like Julio Cesar Chavez. <laughs> yeah, going to Jamal Gym and saying, not fuck fuck a spawn video at all, but just going to Jamal Cholo Gym and saying, say, I want to hip you beat Canelo. <clears throat> yeah, that's what he liked to do. And I'm in camp. Julio Cesar Chavez is in camp with Jamal Cholo to help him defeat Canelo. What would the boxing world say? What if Manuel Marquez, uh, yeah, 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 got in, uh, got in, uh, Andre Camp for Benavides and said, I'm going to help him beat Benavides. I just, I just want to know. I just want to know why black people act like this ain't a problem. Because we are the only people who do it. We are the only people who do it. I don't see Asians coming to the ghetto trying to help ghetto babies box or help us and help us make it out there and coach us and shit like the black man coaching Zane. I just don't see it. Or like you got a uh, Herkovich with a black trainer. I just don't see it, bro. I don't see it nowhere else but in our community. Nobody else thinks th it's only normal to us. Anyway, man. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather gave Ryan Garcia a Mexican video footage of Devin Haney and Tank sparring chopped and screwed in hopes to expose Devin and cause chaos amongst blacks you gave it to a Mexican to do you walked around and jogged with Ryan took him on your uh, private jet probably did weird shit uh, cause I, I just don't trust rich black men. I just think they damn near, I think most of them are weird and they do weird shit and they have many white friends. So I, I, I just don't trust it, but I, I just think weird shit happen. And I also think that, um, so like I said, Floyd took Ryan with him. I think they went on a three day vacation. They was everywhere. Uh, they were spotted everywhere. And in the midst of that, you told a Mexican to protect him. You told him, don't fight Devin Haney. Fight Roller Romero. Fight fight Roller Romero. And then gave him footage of Devin Haney getting rocked and sparring by Tank to cause chaos among black people. Floyd Mayweather is a top five, one of my favorite fighters. I have held back so many times because I know mainstream media always shit on him. So I try to be on cold a little bit and not shit on him as much. Floyd Mayweather, that is the big, that's a big, that's a bigger baboon move than when Mike Tyson, um, you know, vouched for Ryan or when he called Benavidez the Mexican monster. He ain't never even named a black fighter or nothing, but you can name David Benavidez the Mexican. That's way worse than that shit. That's way worse than Baby Mouth Mike. You gave a Mexican some footage of two black fighters to cause division. And you told a Mexican and helped him told him don't fight Devin Haney somebody you watched when you was a kid Devin Haney looked up to you Devin Haney was under your father's wing game banging bro game banging. you don't even need a red bandana or a blue bandana you're a game banger bro that's just what we doing that's what's going on on this internet is a whole lot of game banging you got to be on this side you got to wear this color or that color I'm telling you bro it, it, it's just crazy to me but anyway, Floyd, you started all this shit, and um, it's just pure chaos. But um, 99.9% .9 of these dudes that celebrating this sparring. I I'm telling you, motherfuckers popped bottles to that shit last night. 
it's motherfuckers that really pop bottles, went and got a the most expensive bottle they could afford with they uh, every week check. It went and got the most expensive bottle. Uh, damn, they ain't gonna have no gas money to get to work this week. But you motherfuckers went and bought the most expensive bottle you could. Uh, you went and got that Zaza. You ain't get that ten of G shit. You went and got that goddamn Zaza. I'm talking. I'm talking about that that Zaza Zaza. And you damn near broke now just to pop a bottle and watch that footy. You motherfucker that watched that shit a hundred times, bro. Um. Meanwhile, if I get on this motherfucker and talk about killing white folks, you must. Oh, 903. Oh, man, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? You, you, you spreading hate. You spreading hate, 903. You spreading hate. I'm telling you, that's all they call me as a hater. 903 is he gonna be biased towards black fighters he hate white folks he hate mexicans he hate folks he hate for i be a hater call me a hater call me what you want call me a hater bro but i don't hate my own now nah, i'm just disgusted by you motherfuckers that's all that's all you motherfuckers just weak just weak bro weak We'll, we'll go to a whole nother culture of people and give them in the information to destroy another black man. I, I don't think you motherfuckers know how deep that is. You know, it's kind of, it's just like a black man or get a, a get a Mexican and it'd be another rival black dude with a place of business and he'll give him some dirt. Yeah, he really be selling this and that and get the Mexican, to, you know what I'm saying, get him knocked out so the Mexican can get the spot. We'll do some shit like that. That's how destructive we become. Everybody will help in on the destruction. Motherfuckers that's non-black, they love to help in on the destruction. Oh, Ellie having a field day. It, it just is what it is, bro. Um, It's very shameful to be a black man. I just don't know. And I can't get around it. I can try not to talk about this subject as much as I want. But everywhere there's, where there's black people involved, there's chaos. There's destruction. One thing black folks can all agree on, like I said, even monkeys, even old Trump, 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 and all them motherfuckers who rang a tang, swinging ass, them, all them motherfuckers can admit that black folks ain't shit. That's one thing all black folks can admit. We can all admit that family ain't shit. We don't need family. Family ain't no good. They talk about you behind. We can all admit that black folks ain't shit. That's the only thing we can ever agree on. That's the only thing we can ever agree on. It's sad because 95, 95% of all black fans, I, I'm just looking at, I'm looking at the, I'm just looking at 95% of all black fans think Ryan Garcia's father was not out of line. Black people are just too emotional. We always want to bring up race. We always looking for a racial... Motherfuckers are blaming black folks for getting offended. Most black people think that it was nothing wrong with what Ryan's father did. Hey, it's all in the game. They just building the fight. They just selling the fight. Man, they passed a law. It's a town somewhere in Texas, uh, probably in West Texas. They passed a law at the school where uh, boys, uh, they dreads can only be a certain length. And uh, I think they got a cone they should have served well or some shit. I just, bro, they, they even fucking what I heard. I, bro, white supremacy is never ended. This is some never ending hate. No, no, no. Even the hate that the black man got for itself, that shit will never equal up to the hate of white folks. The motherfucker still fucking what I heard and shit. Motherfucker, you own the weave shops that you give to the Asians. You own everything we got. And you motherfuckers, we can't even, we got to cut our hair now. We dealing with a different shit. We dealing with some we dealing with a system that's so hateful, even though we destroying ourselves, they still come up with ways to destroy us. They touching our kids now. They fucking with our kids. And we don't give a fuck. That's when I knew I knew we 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 might be too far gone. The day when kids are allowed to come out and say, uh, I wanna be a girl. Uh I think I was I, I was born, God made a mistake, and I'm really supposed to be a boy. Uh, that's when we went. That's when it got too far for us. When when we allowed this system to homosexualize our kids, we fucked up. We went too far. We went. We know they homosexualized uh, black men ever since the seventies through prison um, uh, uh, incarceration. We know that's been a movement. 
we we know that's been a movement since the 60s and 70s for black men to be gay. We've been knowing that through drugs and penitentiaries. We've been knowing that. We we we've been knowing that agenda because that's their lifestyle. That is their lifestyle. That is their lifestyle. That's why they're so accepting of it when black folks do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing they do accept. <laughs> so anyway, um. Nah, but when they started putting it on our kids and now they got gay cartoons and all kind of shit, it just it just another level, bro. It's another level. Um it don't matter how much we destroy ourselves, we can keep destroying ourselves, but the white boy's still gonna be in power and he's still gonna do his let me tell you something, white folks are coming up with new drugs every day in them laboratories. They're coming up with so many different laws that you motherfuckers have no idea. It's gonna get worse and worse. While we destroying ourselves, them motherfuckers are coming up with a plan. White supremacy never ends until you destroy it. Stupid motherfuckers. White supremacy will never end until you destroy it. You gotta fight that shit. Weak ass black man You gotta fight it But you too pussy You too pussy You won't even do it for your kids You won't even do it for your family So no Nah bro We know this is an easier fight We know it's an easy But like I said No matter how much we kill each other It still don't stop white folks from hating us It still don't stop the hate no matter how much we destroy ourselves, man, there's so many Uncle Toms now. There's so many Coons. There's so many House Negroes now. I think it's 90% House Negroes, 10% Field Negroes in America. And I'm a Field Negro. Yeah, yeah, I'm that motherfucker gonna burn up in that sun. And then as soon as master ain't looking, I ain't picking no goddamn car. And I'm looking for a way to steal the goddamn shotgun and shoot him off that goddamn horse. Yeah, that, that that's me. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm always trying to think of a plan to beat the white boy. <laughs> but like I said, um, no, America right now is 90% house Negroes. Only 10% are field Negroes. It ain't but 10%, bro. Uh, it ain't even called selling out, no, bro. It, it, it just called surviving now. It just called shit. I did what I had to do. So it just is what it is, bro. Um, Floyd, I, I just feel like I watch how Devin Haney, bro, throughout these years when they cut it, they try it. They they always test young black fighters, especially mainstream media. They love to ask young black fighters about Floyd, hoping they'll diss him. Well, you know, Floyd kind of ruined boxing. That's the new stigma or whatever. Um, but. Devin always spoke good of uh, Floyd Even when I know in the back of his mind He want to say certain things Because Bill ain't been holding back Bill let, Bill let Floyd know Even when Bill was going off on him Devin still tried to hold a certain respect for him Because I know Floyd one of his favorite fighters And You know Devin always Devin always felt some kind of way Because Floyd didn't embrace him like he should have he embraced him, but on some bullshit. He treated him like the neighborhood doughboy do the little youngsters. Yeah, he give you a little zip here and, and and do some shit like that. But he ain't really. I mean, I ain't finna get into drug. <laughs> I'm just saying, he didn't really embrace Devin. He didn't really embrace Devin. Um, and I feel like, um, did he want Devin to sign to him? I feel like whatever if he did or whether he did or not, it was gonna be a bullshit offer. Look how he done Richards and Hitchens. Tank is only, I mean, Floyd is only done right by one fighter in his entire promotion career. And that's Tank. Made him a superstar. Made him a multi-millionaire. Floyd did that. I have no problem admitting that. Black people problem, and a lot of you YouTube content creators and YouTube fans, your problem is um, black people have come to a point where you don't even have to tell us how to be. We train. We train like that dog in the yard. Uh, we know that there's only supposed to be one black man on top of it. This white folks been doing this since slavery. Only one black man can be on top at one time. And that's what we do. We boot anybody else out. Ain't nobody finna be bigger than Tank. Nope. De and that's why that's why they hate Devin so much. Devin is getting bigger and bigger each fight. And I'd be damned if he surpassed Tank. Tank has said it a thousand times. I'd be damned if I let you get shine off me. That's what he mean. You're I'm the only, I'm the HNIC. I don't want no other black man up here with me. We can't be on the top together. No, only one of us at a time. That's why when black people get money, they move away from their family. They go to a whole another continent. 
and they get the fuck and they rather just be around all white folks or just they don't want to be around no black people when they get money that's just what we could we think we only supposed to be there we think we only supposed to be there it's black people that got money but they sister fucking broke as shit living out a fucking cardboard box Bro, we 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 hate for the hate you give. The hate them motherfuckers gave us is finally really white folks are finally everything they taught us through these five hundred years is finally paying off. They don't even have to teach us no more. We it's just embedded in our brains. I think through birth. Yeah, I think as soon as we come out the womb, it just self hate is just in the baby. I, I that just what I think is that deep. I think it's in the blood of us. I just I think it's in the bloodline. Yeah, I, that that's just what I think. That's just what I think. It's too natural. It's too natural for a black man to hate another black man. That's just what I think. I think it's just too natural. It's too, it's too, it seems permanent. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm going to ride this train as long as I ride it. Just one day, you just going to say, what the hell 903 went? Man, I ain't going to ride with this shit forever. Uh, I'm going to ride with it till I just say, fuck it. Um, yeah, that's just how I'm gonna ride with it till I say fuck it, bro. Um, yeah, I ain't know nothing about this YouTube shit when I came on. I ain't, I ain't know how fake this shit is. I ain't know how fake this shit is. I did not know. I did not know about all this mess. This shit is too messy for me. This shit is some messy ass shit. It just, it just amazes me the excitement of you bitch ass motherfuckers. The excitement. Oh, damn, it got exposed. Oh, you motherfuckers have get, got the best laugh that you've had in years. I, I just don't get it. I, it just in the brain cells of you mother. Like I said, it, it just ain't enough bananas in the world. It's the most disgraceful group of a uh, batch of black people that ever existed. Because we have no love for each other and we all know it. Even even monkeys, even house Negro, everybody know that black people don't love each other. Black people don't love each other. No matter what I, I can talk, all this other shit, I can touch on I can tell you about the pyramids. We can talk knowledge. We can talk, yeah, the balance, the earth, is it flat? We can talk all that other shit. We can talk about all that shit. We can talk religion. We can talk about all that shit and Moses and them and all that shit there. But when it boils down to it, you can't get around the fact that, bro, you know, black people don't love each other. And I know whenever I'm in an environment around black people, I know it's a bunch of haters around me. That's something we can't get past. So until we face that shit, until we address that shit, we just some motherfuckers just talking. We just playing. That's how you motherfuckers do. You play on the internet. You mother I'm telling you, bro, here there's so many black content creators that play this divide and conquer shit just to get more subs, just to play. Because none blacks would love to come to your channel when they see that you hate on black people all the time. That's why that black dude is on uh, the boxing voice and can get up there. Because every time they bring up a black fighter, that motherfucking gorilla, he, he the first to shit on them. Just like with Tim Bradley, none blacks love to get around. That's why he can go on Pro Box with Polly and Chris Algieri and them. They love his opinion because he ain't going to never have a pro black opinion. Yeah, I love my people first, even through the self-hate, even through the embarrassment, even through the, the bullshit, the fake shit. Nah, because I just know it was people before this batch. It was people before this group. And a lot of times our hearts get hardened. Our hearts get hardened, and we just wanna, we just wanna, we just even even those who know and understand this this system. Sometimes we can get caught up in so much hate amongst black people that we just say fuck this shit. I ain't fighting. I don't want to. I never let that happen, bro. I never let that happen, bro. When you got a goal, when you got a mission, bro, never get off that mission. If everybody else gonna be fake, you stay real, bro. Stay real. Even if everybody around you is hateful, still have love. Still spread love, bro. Spread that shit. Don't be a hater just like everybody else, bro. Man, let me tell you something. I am so intelligent, bro. I know what to play. I could play this YouTube like a... I could pimp this shit. I know what topic's hot. I know what to talk about. I know what... Man, I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. 
I don't know. I don't never ask you motherfuckers to sub to me. I don't tell you motherfuckers to pass the like button. I don't put my cash out. I don't do none of that shit. I, I just don't. It's authentic. It come from a real place. If this channel grow, it grow. If you look out for me, you look out for me. If you smash the like button, you smash the like button. But I ain't gonna ask for it. I ain't gonna ask you motherfuckers for shit. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna ask for shit. But um, I don't know, man. I might fuck with y'all tomorrow. I might I might go live for that Raymond Ford fight. I'm telling you, bro, that's a hell of a fight. It's a hell of a fight. Raymond Ford done had some tough fights. This dude's different. This dude, Raymond Ford, finna fight is different. I really hope Raymond Ford win, but I'm telling you, bro, he up against it. And uh, that see, you gotta look how people how, how top rank do shit. Uh, this fight is on top rank, and they just signed that uh dude uh, Kovac or whatever the uh, foreign dude that. Raymond Ford in a fight. He just got to deal with top rank. So guess who they who you think they going for? Guess if Raymond Ford get wobbled, and they got a ref that's going to stop that fight. It's just always the cards are stacked against them, bro. We just too busy fighting each other. That's your motherfucker's problem. Just fighting each other while the white boy's still gaining more and more power. More and more foreigners are moving in, taking over our community. While all this shit is going on, we fighting. We steady arguing and wrestling, fighting hard than a bitch over that banana. Losing businesses, losing houses, other motherfuckers moving in. Before you know it, the whole street full of Mexicans. Before you know it, the whole goddamn street full of Mexicans. And you motherfuckers still in that same goddamn yard, arguing over that same banana. Everybody play on the dysfunction of black people, including black people. That's why showbiz is so successful. He play on the dysfunction. I, we just play on the dysfunction, bro. So... I don't know, but this is the last time I'm going to have a teachable moment on it. The rest of my video, I'm just going to talk shit. I'm going to talk my normal shit. I tried to really break down some shit to you motherfuckers, but yeah, I humbled myself and I tried to really let this be a teachable moment for you motherfuckers, but uh, yeah, that's it. After this, I'm back to talking my shit. I'm talking my shit. Um, talking my shit, bro. Talking my shit. I just wish it was a white boy. I just, it's never been a white boy we've dedicated our life to exposing. Never been a white boy. Not, not Vlad, not Adam 22, no matter what weird shit these motherfuckers do. Even when Vlad said, I ain't apologizing for that shit I did, said about Farrakhan. I ain't apologizing. Black people still come on his shit. That motherfucker had Smokey Robinson on his show. Anyway, um, everybody pimp on that shit. Adam 22 is a square, weird white boy that is infatuated with black men. They got a bunch of blood and crips on his show, and they fight each other, and he starts the shit, and he uh, get beef started. It just is what it is, bro. Everybody make money off this shit. Um, everybody make money off us, but don't nobody give a fuck about us. I tell you, boy, America, I don't think there's nowhere else that's like this. This is a cold motherfucker. You know, when motherfuckers come over here, they already know. It's like they have a, it's like they have a whole booklet, uh, a pamphlet on black people. How to sell to them. How to manipulate them. How to play them against each other. It's like white folks give photos a pamphlet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I really think, I think it's a pamphlet they get. And uh, it just, it just tells them the, the quickest way to play on us. Uh, they tell us different. They tell them uh, diff they show them locations of buildings where they can open a gas station. They tell them what cigars to get. They tell them which cigars we really normally like. You ever notice when you go in that uh, goddamn convenience store, motherfucker don't know your name, nothing about you, but he know he know what you probably want to smoke. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, motherfucker know you smoke weed before you even. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the ga game, game. Oh, okay, okay. I new kind. I have a new kind. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, I ain't finna get in that shit. But yeah, everybody know our shit. Everybody know how to hustle our ass and uh, get money off us. So, I don't know. It just ain't enough black men upset. I'm telling you, bro, we, we, we so fucked up. Um, Yeah, white folks gonna have to just, it's gonna have to be some hell of a shit to make us stick together. Yeah, I think it... it but everything starts with love. Uh, how black people will 
get the love that we lost for each other uh, back. I don't know how that'll ever happen. I don't know. White folks can't convince us to love each other. Uh, that's some shit they ain't never tried to do. They ain't never tried. So that's just some shit we gonna have to figure out. We gonna have to figure out how to rebuild our families, bro. Rebuild our relationships with our siblings, bro. And keep in mind, I made that because they go. I know motherfuckers be motherfuckers love to try to country that I'm nine, I'm three. See you being too feisty. You said you wasn't gonna never squash that shit with your cousin after you knocked them out, and you said you ain't gonna fuck with them no more. And sometimes it's fuck family. Yeah, I do. That that's the ignorant side of me, bro. I still I am not all the way there. I have an ignorant ways. I think about home and black people all the time. I have violent thoughts. I have fucked up thoughts. I can't stand black people. Yeah, I can't. That's my ignorant side. But deep in my heart, bro, I, I have a great love for my people. And I'm all about unity, growth, and development. And just excellence, bro. And just, just being a better man. I'm trying to get there, but I'm still ignorant. I still got fucked up ways. I still have a criminal-minded way of thinking. I have a criminal-minded way of thinking. It's just me. Any way I can beat the system, I'm, I'm going to try to do it. So that's just how I feel, bro. But... Black people, you you fucking YouTubers are weird. You just I don't want to be on no panels. I don't want to do none of that shit. I don't want to. I don't, I just don't. I I'm just gonna stay over here. I'm just gonna stay over here, bro. Just keep doing what y'all doing for clicks, bro. Just keep doing it. Keep keep playing what you playing. Keep playing what you playing, bro. It's just amazing to me. Like it would only go only black people with some shit like this go viral. You know, if it was some old sparring footage of Campos is whooping on Loma or some shit like that and Campos just came out with the footage, bro, that shit would have got 7,000 views. That shit would have got 7,000 views wouldn't have been no video. Everybody get excited when the black fighter getting clowned or a black man getting destroyed or something. Nothing goes viral like when a black man is getting destroyed. Everybody, everybody chime in. I bet you motherfuckers got new subscribers too. Fucking bitch. I bet you motherfuckers got new subscribers. You got some new nun black motherfuckers that all oh, that hop on your shit. Oh, and you just feel so accepted. So a bitch. You motherfuckers just, I, I hate you. See, now I'm finna get it. Let me, let, me, let me just get off this motherfucker. I done said enough. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, bro. Yeah, we just don't love each other. We have that it's not preached. It's not preached in no religion. There's no black religion. There's no religion. Not not even religion has taught us to love each other. It ain't no religion where black people love each other. It ain't nowhere I can go in America where there's love amongst black people. Just nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Maybe some small country town with about forty people, and they always together. Maybe some shit like that for the most part. Wherever there's black people, there's gunshots. Yeah, wherever there's black people. Uh, yeah, motherfuckers snowing and, and doing all kind of shit. Motherfucker arguing over dope. Motherfucker slamming dominoes and arguing over a domino game or some shit. Or arguing about the Cowboys or some shit. So, I, I can count on that. Anywhere I go, I, whether it's the barbershop, I know it's going to be some chaos. And I know black folks going to be arguing over something. Like the Cowboys or who was better out of Michael Jordan and LeBron. Meanwhile, the white boy steady building more and more shit. The military getting more and more. They got more and more bone. They got the most powerful uh, missiles and shit in the world. It's just all kind of shit. And they just steady building more and more shit, getting more and more powerful, moving more and more people over here and moving us out. So, um, I'm telling you, when, when black folks finally get destroyed, if we don't, because that's what's going to happen. We're going to get destroyed as a whole. And it's only going to be just a certain group of black people over here. Our numbers going to plummet. It's probably going to be just a couple million black. And they're going to all just be workers. Just be some motherfucking house cleaners and shit. And they're just going to be there to be well behaved and never talk. After a while, we ain't going to be able to talk. That's, that's just how black. Because nobody respects us. It ain't one group of people that respect black people. We're not respected. Huh. But we war and kill each other over we trying to get respected by each other. How are we going to respect you, get respect from each other when nobody else respects us? Shit, you go in that store, them, they looking at them cameras. <laughs> Motherfucker. Anyway, it is what it is. I done, I done freestyle. I can get you motherfuckers one of them, uh, yeah, back in the game, one of them, uh, one of them DJ screw tapes. 
Yeah, one of them DJ screws type. What's that? What's that guy down? <laughs> I'm gonna get in that kiki. Never smoke the mole. That's for a hole. Whoever do daddy's brain cells is moving slow. I'ma smoke the weed. Smoke get twist up. I'm riding in the truck with Al. He ain't riding on bug. He riding to the grade. D to the A. A player like me hanging around with that H A W K. Uh, what about the <laughs> request? Nah, but uh, nah, nah, nah. I chopped and screwed this motherfucker, but it's all love. But it just gotta be war first. It just gotta be war. You just gotta. You know this new word stand on business we really don't do it but you 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 got to you got to stand on what you stand on bro I'm telling you, I'm gonna stand on this shit even if nobody else do it. I don't want to be cool with it. I don't. This ain't got to be no cool vibe. I stand on what I stand on even if I stand alone. I'm gonna stand on it. I'm gonna stand on it. Um I I just never be broken, bro. I never let this shit break me. I never let the system no matter what life throw my way. I just never let it break me, bro. So just just be strong through whatever you're going through, bro. Just be strong through life and just don't let situations break you, bro. Don't fold under 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 pressure, bro. Just don't let situations break you. And so, yeah, it's just how I feel, bro. I've been through a lot. I'm telling you, when I lost my sister, I I'm telling you, bro. I I, I didn't I, I didn't want to do I I gave I a part of me almost gave up. Um. Cause I had never lost nobody really close to me like that, but yeah, losing my pops and then losing my sister. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, I've been recovering through this channel. I'm just being real shit. I've recovered through this, and I still ain't recovered all the way. I'm still fucked up, but um, I done damn near recovered a lot just going through this channel, just talking my shit, bro. Yeah, it can be therapeutic. It can, it can get shit off your chest, cause. Motherfucker can't hold all this shit in, but I talk my shit, bro. Love it or hate it. You're going to lose people along the way. You're going to gain people. It is what it is, but I'm, I'm just telling you, bro. This sauce will forever remain. This is 903 Boston. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.